Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have a really fun monthly lifestyle box that's been sent to me for review. I've actually been reviewing it for several years now and it's getting a little bit more interesting because now instead of just theming the box on a fruit or a food or a combination of flavors, she is doing much broader themes. So we've gotten like a Hawaiian luau theme. This month it is themed on a whole decade so I'm very curious and I know a lot of you are as well to see the fruit for thought I love the 80s box now the box itself is $44.99 per month plus $7.99 in shipping I do have a code that will save you some money on your first box if you do a month to month subscription it is Noel 10 and that will save you 10% as always I will leave that information as well as a link for you in the description box below this is not an affiliate link just a referral code but she does send this box to me for review inside we have the fruit for thought uh tissue paper which comes in two different colorways but some of you i asked because we always know the upcoming themes because this box does sell out quite often we always know what the upcoming themes are so you can get ready for them and i was asking you what are some like 80s themed foods. Now we usually get one or two snacks, one or two food items in the box, as well as other lifestyle items like self-care items, bath and body, um, sometimes some lifestyle accessories. But I was asking what kinds of foods you think of when you think of the 80s. And a lot of you were like Pop Rocks, like Capri Suns. Um, I was thinking of fondue because I, I just always love cheese and bread. But um, I'm very curious to see if we find any of that in this box. So this is the September, uh, I love the 80s box. I wonder if it says, so October is just spooky treats. So hopefully, I'm always a little bit nervous. I am not like a spooky season girl necessarily. Like I'm not one of those gals who like loves her haunted houses and stuff. I like cutesier Halloween, like I like, cute black cats and little kids dressed up like pumpkins, but in terms of like the horror side of it and the creepy crawlies, like that is not me. Like I used to like walk by the scary like um, mask section in the Halloween stores like as fast as I possibly could. Like I will not watch Halloween movies. Let me know. Do you like the scary side or the kind of sweet spooky side? So because of the style of this box, I'm thinking it's going to be on the sweeter spooky side, but it'll be kind of neat to have our own little like trick or treat box, right? Because that is one part about Halloween that I think is fun is it's kind of a justification to enjoy all those little like mini candy bars. Mm -hmm. Those are like my favorite. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite trick or treat uh, like Halloween candy is like the thing that you always wanted to trade for. My husband is a weirdo and he loves Smarties. He thinks I'm a weirdo because I actually like the Tootsie Rolls. I also just love any like little mini Snickers bar. Those are so, so good. So good. But you guys let me know what your favorites are. Um, what was the good house? You know, the good house that always had like this. Sometimes there would always be that, like, like that super fancy house that gave out like full size candy bars. And you're like, really trying to make us look bad. <laughs> we don't actually get trick-or-treaters at my house, which is a little bit of a bummer, but a lot of the times we're out of town anyway, but I kind of wish we did. All right, back to the 80s. <laughs> back to the 80s. Back to the future. Uh, here we go, you guys. All right, so we have our I Love the 80s little card, and then on the back, it does tell me all the information about it, so I will prop this up in front of me. By the way, she often does quarterly limited edition boxes, and I know she's got a fall Huga themed box, which, you know, Huga... Danish word for coziness, comfort. So I'm sure it's going to be a super fall cozy vibe. So if you are interested, definitely check that out. She hasn't already sold out. And if you want to have your own little trick or treat bag or bundle or box, then make sure you get in on the October spooky treats box. All right. This is heavy, whatever it is. Magic candy. Interesting. So it's like a magic eight ball, but also candy. It came in this like little like holographic box it's very loud so let me go ahead and take the plastic wrap off and see if i can figure out exactly what it is magic fortune telling candy is a fortune candy confection each candy will tell your fortune like a magic eight ball so it's kind of like sweethearts where they had like a little message on them but it's um but it's magic candy interesting we got a whole like thing of it I'm surprised that we got like, you know, this is like what you would get in the store, like this whole lineup of six, six boxes. Yeah. So this says, ask a question, any question and magic candy will give you the answer. Just ask your query out loud. They spelled query weird. Q-U-I-R-Y. 
isn't it? Q-U-E-R-Y. <laughs> Just ask your query out loud, then shake a candy to get a look at your future. Surprises await you. I do like the holographic box. It looks like a card box, doesn't it? So it could say something like, yes, indeed, or rely on it maybe later or no way this is actually really fun i might save these to hand out to people for halloween because so then it's got that little like push tab here and then you'll just shake it out and get your answer it's like a box of sweetheart candies but with magic magic eight ball answers i think that's really fun i don't know that i was supposed to get quite that many of them but since i take photos maybe i'll open up a couple of boxes that's really fun neat okay Okay, I'm not sure how this like display box works. I have to like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not good at like learning how display boxes work. Oh, okay. So you actually get to like prop it up that way. So I will figure it out, you guys. I will figure it out and make it look pretty over on the gram. So if you're not following me yet over on Instagram, please follow me over there. It's Maui underscore Noel. I have a personal account too, but that's where I do all my product photos. And I, there are a few boxes that I photograph pretty regularly. Um, and I get to do like kind of close ups and like tell you a little bit more about the boxes. And I do some posts over in the story section as well. Um, so definitely be on the lookout over there if you're not already paying attention to the community tab here. And of course the Facebook group that we've got. Ooh. Of some, this is fun. We got some wax melts. I haven't gotten wax melts in a little while, so I'm kind of stoked to get some wax melts. Um, I always have to remember to use the wax melts that I have because I have those nice like plug-in um, wax warmers, but I have to remember to use them instead of my candles. Smells like, oh my gosh, you guys, this is good. Smells like Sweet Valley High Books, Guest Jeans, Jelly Shoes, Lip Smackers, Aquanet, and Loves Baby Soft. So that was a super popular fragrance. It was not like my thing, not, not my personal thing, but I always wanted jellies. I don't think, I think it had one pair. Everybody loved Sweet Valley High. I was not, I was more into like Babysitter's Club books, I feel like, anyway. So this is from Hardened Soy Candles, Soy Wax Melts. It says, uh, again, Love's Baby Soft was a wildly popular fragrance in the 80s. Notes of geranium, jasmine, rose, lavender, patchouli, vanilla, and musk. Use in a wax melter or melt in a small pot on the stove. Well, I guess you could just melt it in a pot on the stove or like in a little ceramic mug, like a little double boiler situation. Let me see if I can open it up so I can give it a sniff. Ooh. It does smell like Love's Baby Soft, even though I didn't use that fragrance. It's a little like heady, and I think it might be, maybe it's the rose, because usually I like jasmine, but I think it's a lot of floral. It's got that kind of floralness going with it, but you can smell the vanilla and the musk too. So it's not like a traditional fall scent, but it is very 80s, so I'll, I'll give them that. This is all great 80s packaging. I'm trying to be kind of careful with it. 1980s decade of trivia oh my gosh totally gnarly <laughs> totally tubular um so this is fun power up the delorean and get back in time did you covet your friend's rubik's cube remember wham how about gretzky's historic trade to la see you had to be like an adult i feel like or a teenager to remember some of those things like i'm i was a child in the 80s literally a child of the 80s so it says wicked gather up your Brat Pack and join Marty McFly and Indiana Jones in a world of totally choice trivia from like only the most righteous time in history. Excellent. So for example, oh, we've got different questions. I don't know if there's different questions on each card. I wonder if I can open it up. I'll try to open it up, of course, without ruining the packaging. For example, in The Empire Strikes Back, which I was never a Star Wars nerd, still am not, it says, what is Han Solo frozen in? Oh, well, that one everybody knows. Carbonite. Um, what Norwegian rock group had a hit in 1985 with Take On Me? See, that, that one I wouldn't know, even though I know the song, and now you're all singing it. Take on me, take on me. Um, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. It says, oh, the, the, the Dallas stuff. See, like I was, I couldn't stay up late enough to watch Dallas. So, but I guess most people know who shot JR. And then I think I managed to, mm, I did still ruin the packaging. <laughs> I always ruin the packaging. Okay. So this is what they look like. Oh, it's even got one of those like pull tab wrappers, which, you know, it's supposed to make it easy to open, but it doesn't necessarily. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you guys, it's so hard sometimes. The life of an unboxer, unbox, well, it's hard because if you guys haven't noticed, if you're new to my channel, and I know some of you are like OGs who have almost been with me for the entire four years. I think there are a few of you who've definitely been with me for at least three, but some of you have been with me like pretty close to the entire four years. I mean, my first year I had very few subscribers, so I doubt that many of you would still be around from that. But I do continuous take videos. Uh, which means that I don't actually edit the videos. So what you see is what you get. And for me, it is a way to ensure some authenticity in terms of my reactions to the items and how things are packaged and how they arrive. And then also, of course, just, you know, then I'm not over editing things and taking things out. You're just getting my honest reactions. So Sometimes it takes me a little while to open everything up. So this is what it looks like. There's gonna be five questions on every single one, and the object is to be the first player to correctly answer two questions in each of the five categories. So I feel like I feel like I need a trivial pursuit pie wedge so that you can keep track. I guess you just like make a little list on the side and see um, who's keeping track. Interesting. I wonder if they actually have like more specific directions but I think this is a really fun game. I am going to hold on to it for the next time I'm hanging out with some of my friends. Although a lot of my friends, because my husband's a little bit younger than me, they're, they might not know a lot of the questions. If I don't know some of the questions, they probably won't know some of them either. Sports. Rosie Ruiz, who won the 1980 Boston Marathon in the female category, was disqualified for what reason? So some of it's like pop culture stuff that you would know anyway. This is a cool item though. I'm super into this. A far out card game. Fun to play at a barbecue, beach, or game night. Enjoy the sweet deck of trivia fit for fans of the rockin' 80s. So yeah, just a good thing to have because it's easy. Because you're like, eh. Good for a road trip too, just to like ask questions and like have people keep track. I knew it couldn't be a box without one of these. All right, do you remember? Da, 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 da. This one's actually really cute. It's like, this is very on trend right now. So everything comes back, tie dye comes back all the time. It's always back. So this is a velvet tie dye scrunchie. I actually think this is super cute. It's very like My Little Pony. It's very like Barbie. I don't know. It's, I'm into it. I'm into the rainbow scrunchie. I don't even wear scrunchies except for like at night when I'm trying to like tie up my hair. It's super soft. It's one of those like really silky kind of scrunchies uh, or velvets and I, I like it. I was really into, you guys know I used to do Disney unboxings here on the channel once upon a time too. There was some velvet tie-dyed ears that this gal made on Etsy and I was like dying to get those and then I realized one, I have some sherbet colored ears. I have some velvet ears. I didn't need them both together because now I have like, oh, I'd say somewhere between 50 and 75 pairs of ears. And um, I go to Disneyland like once a year. So I, I don't know. I got into a weird Disney craze. Like I've always been a Disney fan, but I got, I got a little obsessed with the merch, which back in the day, I've been a Disney fan and I never was like a merch person except for like when I first got into this channel and all of a sudden I needed every lounge fly backpack and I needed every pair of ears. Thankfully, I ran out of room. <laughs> Scrunchy, you guys, is going to be our secret password for today. So if you're newer to my channel, we do these fun secret passwords where every, not every video, but probably around a dozen videos each month will have a secret password. We can come across one of those secret passwords. You want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below. Five days into the following month, so you have some time to catch up if you miss some videos. I will use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive a mystery box as a way of saying thank you for watching my videos. You have to be 18 years or older. You have to have a US or Canadian mailing address and you do have to be a subscriber of my channel, although not necessarily um, uh, publicly. I can verify with you via email. It is in no way affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I open here on the channel. It is my way of saying thank you so much for watching my videos. Today's secret password is scrunchy. Spell that as you like, but I would spell it uh, as S-C-R-U-N-C-I C-H-I-E. I would spell it like, like it's going to be plural. I know you could spell it with a Y too. This is something that I knew would be in this box because I've actually seen it in other boxes lately because it's kind of made, 
I was gonna say a comeback, but maybe it's just never gone away. So this is, by the way, from a company called Confetti and Friends. This is fun dip, but this is a flavor I have never had. This is Raz Apple Magic Dip, where it comes with that white sugar dipping stick, and then it's just a powder of flavored sugar, and it makes a mess, and it's delicious. I remember getting fun dip where you would have like four different flavors. That was the cool one. And you would like fold it all up and have it in your pocket, like kind of accordion folded. And I would get them every time we went bowling because yes, indeed, friends, there used to be a bowling alley on Maui. And that was like a cool thing to do. We used to have a roller skating rink too. So that was like a birthday party kids thing to do. Um, and I would always get the fun dip at the bowling alley. That was like the only time I would ever do it. So we got some fun dip. Um, I don't see that on here actually interesting I feel like it should be on here somewhere but we'll go over everything afterwards now this looks like something that you would get from oh this is from Magnifique Art Hearts find us on Etsy Instagram Facebook and fair it's vinyl coasters so a set of six drinks coasters that look like records aka vinyl um, this looks like something we would get in a really cool um, like a desk stash box because it's got that vintage retro vibe I think it's cool that like vinyls have always remained in style although now I feel like now recording artists every time they're releasing all these limited edition vinyls but like in various colors and you're like well how many vinyls do I need also I'm just gonna do it so that I can have one of them you know they're like all these really cool colors like some of them are see-through um, how many of these do I need? Because really, I'm still going to listen to it on my AirPods most of the time. But when I'm feeling hipster and cool, I'm going to put it on my, on my um, turntable, which I feel has that craze gone down. Am I just so old that I aged out of it again after the comeback? Let's see. I'm trying to slice this open, you guys, because they have it in this cool packaging, but <laughs> it's like childproof. It is it is uh, old person proof. It's just taped a lot. Uh, let's see. It's almost like a CD case. Remember those jewel cases and how hard they were to get open and then you would like crack it and you'd be like, oh, now my jewel case is cracked. I used to love liner notes. Liner notes in vinyls and, excuse me, vinyl and CDs was so cool. These are really cool. I've seen these in stores. Uh, so adorn your coffee table with these stylish retro vinyl record coasters. Each one features a different record label design, making them perfect for old school music lovers. So um, I love that. That's so neat. So it just opened like a vinyl and then I still can't get them, <laughs> I still can't get them out because it's still in the box. I could have totally skipped that part. Oh, so difficult sometimes I am. So this is a set of four funny vinyl record style coasters, but we actually got a set of six. So this one says Too Hot to Handle by the Nostalgics. This one says Spectrum Records Tea Time Don't Spill This by the nostalgics i think they're all by the nostalgics they're singles oh no from the apollo it says no marks on the table the nostalgics okay that is the nostalgics <laughs> that was just a different record these are all their singles that came out this one is stuck together hold on i'm gonna have to ask the magic eight ball if i'm ever gonna get these apart the answer is maybe uh this one is cover and protect guess who the nostalgics uh 45 rpms protect the surface and finally rest on me that's a good one rest on me rest on me i'm sorry you knew i was gonna sing in the i love the 80s one tell me your favorite 80s so i already have you telling me what your favorite halloween candy is tell me what your favorite 80s song is because that's not something she could necessarily include in the box tell me what your favorite 80s song is in the comments below and then finally oh my goodness you guys this is definitely a flashback we got some silly putty in the original bouncing multiple fun in the original classic red shell case eggshell case with um you know more plastic wrap that is the bane of my existence because I can never open it. So <laughs> have fun. This is from Toy Smith. It is the original Silly Putty and you would think I would be able to open it with my crazy fingernails but they are so hard to get. I mean this is so child proof. This is so adult proof. I guess it's a good thing. I wasn't a big Silly Putty 
fan, but I do remember like getting the Silly Putty and then um, like uh, picking up newsprint on it. That's like really outdated, right? To be <laughs> picking up newsprint on it or those um, uh, artist erasers. Oh, there it is. Oh, so weird. It looks like a tongue. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna photograph Silly Putty, you guys, but if you have any ideas, you can tell me that in the comments below too. So going over everything that we got, we got our six vinyl record style coasters. We got our decade trivia fun game. I'm super into that. We got our soy wax melts. We got our tie dyed velvet scrunchie. We got our silly putty. We got our magic candy, uh, magic eight ball fortune telling candy, which I think is awesome. And then instead of Pop Rocks candy, it looks like we got our fun dip, which I am okay with that replacement. That was a replacement, but a fun, filled box of 80s nostalgia and very much looking forward to the spooky treats. You guys let me know what your favorites were in the comments below. Basically just leave me a comment. That would make me happy and I'll see you all very very soon in my next unboxing.